Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today with the topic of the width of depletion region. Width of depletion region. The barrier potential we saw in the last video. Today we see W D. The diagram is from the last video. You know this is a P N junction diode. With this one the P side, this one the N side. Now I forgot in the last video that the barrier potential is initially zero, isn't it? Now as the process of diffusion takes place it rises and rises till its maximum value and this maximum value now again it assumes its constant value so this is the graph for VP initially it was zero now after doping the electric field it raises now again it becomes constant so this I forgot in the last week now today we see the width of depletion region and again the derivation is not important the book has no interest in the derivation neither has it written anything of this but I just found it somewhere so I thought let it share with you right so the width of this depletion region WD is equal to 2 epsilon over E 1 over NA plus 1 over ND this into VB and this whole under a square root let me cross check yes 2 epsilon by E 1 over NA plus 1 over ND into VB now the terms associated this epsilon epsilon is what this is the electrical permittivity of a medium electrical permittivity or this is also called dielectric constant and this is different for every medium all right of a medium okay the next e uh, sorry so this e epsilon basically this is <coughs> equal to epsilon r epsilon naught now this epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space and its value you would know 4 pi into 10 is 2 power negative 17 or is it 8.85 in terms of negative 17 so that is I am confusing in the epsilon permittivity and permeability so this value you know right and the relative this is the relative relative permittivity of a medium so if you are given the relative permittivity so you need to know the 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 permittivity of free space which I believe is 4 pi to 10 to the power negative 17 but still I, I am confusing it with the relative with the with the permeability of the free space which is the magnetizing capability but you know this all right now I cannot just pause the video and check it <coughs> I'm sorry so you know the permittivity of free space so you can find the electrical permittivity of any medium by this like this all right this E again represents the charge on an electron which is 1.6 into 10 raised to the power negative 19 coulombs and I just I don't know why did I remove that because uh, in the previous video we've seen all those values and again I'm writing it over here Na is the acceptor ion concentration this is on the P side if you're not given like this that the acceptor ion concentration is this or if you're given the concentration on the P side is this so that means this Na all right similarly this Nd is the donor ion concentration which is on the N side 
and VB, you know, this is the barrier potential. We, we've seen that in the previous video. If you've not watched that, the link is in the description below. So this is it for the width of the depletion region. All the values are given. So let me see if I have an example over it. Yes, I have written. So the derivation is not important, you know. The electrical permittivity, yes. Dielectric constant, yes. Now the, over here, the Na is given to be 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. For example, Na is 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. And D is 10 to the power 17 per centimeter cube. Uh, we have an I. Do we have any N I over here? In the formula, we don't have any N I, but still it is given. So let it be given. We don't have anything to do. No, we have. Wait. N I is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 again. So these are the same values from the previous example. And the width of the depletion region is asked, which is unknown. All right? All right. So what do you have? In the formula of WD, we have a 2 epsilon. So I missed epsilon. Now the values for silicon and germanium, I also have written them with me. So the value of epsilon for silicon is what it is 1.04 into 10 to the power negative 12 1.04 into 10 to the power negative 12 it is f per centimeter right farad per centimeter farad per centimeter and similarly the epsilon the permi permittivity value for germanium it's 1.2488, 1.2448 into 10 to the power negative 12 again, farad per centimeter. All right, now in this example, we are also given that this is a silicon. This is a silicon semiconductor that we are talking about. All right, so Na we have from the formula, and D we have from the formula, and where do we have uh, epsilon I have written over here this is something you need to remember okay E we know too now VB is unknown so while I was saying that we don't have we don't require the uh, NI so we do require NI and we require NI to find VB so now if we find VB VB is equal to uh, that was VT which was 26 millivolts and it's room temperature consider the temperature is not given so considering room temperature all right so let me write considering room temperature if you are not given a temperature in the question consider the room temperature and at room temperature we had 0 0.026 into ln of Na and D over n i square so you put the values over here and I have not calculated it for myself but you find V B from here you find V B from here all right using the scientific calculator and then you put the value of V B in this equation let me name it equation a all right now equation a implies so you put values all right put values yourself and I'm, I'm I'm doing it I'm telling you the final answer because I also know only the final answer so the final answer is that the WD equals uh, 3.29 into 10 raised to the power negative 5 centimeter and which I could write as the WD width of the depletion region is 0 0.33 micro centimeter. So this much small is the width of the depletion region. And 
You should know, uh, let me tell you for an information that the, the, the width of the depletion region for a silicon material lies within the range of 0.1 micro, so this was into meters, all right? Micrometer, not microcentimeter. <laughs> okay, so this lies in 0 0.1 micrometer to 1 micrometer. This is the range of a silicon width of depletion region. So that's all about it, okay? This is just a formula we needed to have an idea. That's all for today. That's all about the width of depletion region. We've seen the uh, what? Very potential in the previous video. So, till the next lecture, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do me a favor, you subscribe to the YouTube channel and also uh, like and follow us on Facebook as well. Till the next lecture, take care of yourselves and I, said, and I believe I've said it once. So, goodbye.